let's crochet this beautiful hat it's super warm super easy and cute really cute this is the inside to crochet this hat i use this yarn cartopo number one it's in type peeling and this is the label and also 3.5 millimeter hooks for the eyes and the horn i'm using alisa cotton gold yarn and 2.5 millimeter hooks for the muzzle and the white parts of ears i'm using winnie pooh yarn it's a type of fluffy yarn you can use other brands too and also 3.5 millimeter hook okay let's start to begin make a slip knot i'm making this hat for a 12 month baby and the head circumference measurement is about 41 to 42 centimeters for this measurement i need to make 24 centimeters of base chain therefore i start chaining for about 24 centimeters i chain until i reach 24 centimeters I chained 42 and it's about 24 centimeters. Let me take a measurement. Yes, it's about 24 centimeters and about 9.5 inches. Row one, I skip the first two chains and make half double crochet into third chain yarn over insert the hook into the third chain take the yarn i have three loops on the hook yarn over pull it through all loops this is called a half double crochet make half double crochet in each chain two make one half double crochet in each chain until you reach the last three chains until here at the end measure it again to become sure that it's in the right size yes almost into last four chains make one slip stitch Insert the hook into the chain, pull the yarn, pull it through this chain on the hook. Two, three, and four. Chain one, turn. Round two, look at each stitch. It has two loops, one in front of me, the front loop, and one is behind, and it is called the back loop. For this row and other rows, I'm using the back loops only. So, make four slip stitch on first four stitches. Back loop only. One two three and four make one half double crochet in each stitch back loop only 
वन टू थ्री डू दिस पैटर्न बाय द एंड ऑफ द रैप एट दिस साइड ऑफ द हैट व्हिच इज एक्चुअली द एज ऑफ द हैट For the last stitch and the first stitch, I use both loops. Get here. This is my last stitch. I take both loops, insert the hook from both loops, take the yarn, and I make my last half double crochet. Chain two and turn. This is my first stitch and here again for the first stitch I'm using both loops. Take both loops for the first and the last stitches at the edge of the hat. For the other stitches I'm using back loop only. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the pattern created by using back loops only. So the first stitch at this side and the last stitch for the previous row we use both loops. It makes the edge look more neat. So, go on making one half double crochet into each stitch back loop only until you reach here. For the last four stitches, make a slip stitch in back loop only. One, two, three and four chain one turn again make four slip stitch back loop only one two three and four now make one half double crochet in each stitch until you reach here half double crochet this is the main pattern and you just need to repeat the rows Make one half double crochet in each stitch back loop only until you reach the last stitch. In last stitch, you use both loops. Then chain two, turn. For first half double crochet, use both loops. Then make one half double crochet in each stitch back loop only until you reach the last four stitches. And for this part, which is the top part of the hat you just need to put one slip stitch into each stitch back loop only then chain one turn and repeat the pattern so do this pattern until you reach the head circumference measurements for 12 months baby it's about 16 inches or 41 centimeter. I've reached the head circumference and it's almost 41 centimeter. This 
size is proper for a 12 months baby now i have to join these two sides this is my last row This is my first row and I have loops here. Okay, I put them next to each other. Insert the hook into the first loop of this side and into the front loop of the other side. As you can see the other side, my last row and it has two loops. I'm using the front loops the loops that are in front of me right now okay so insert the hook into the first loop yarn over pull it through all loops i'm joining these two sides by slip stitch insert the hook into the next stitch next stitch in front of it the front loop and make a slip stitch next stage continue this pattern and it looks like this join these two sides until you reach here after joining the two sides cut the yarn a bit longer to use it for sewing For making the ears, horns, muzzle and eyes, watch the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos.